In this module, we are going to study about spectroscopic techniques, the advanced technique that are used in spectroscopy, its limitations, advantages as well as its uses. This is scientific measurement technique. Spectroscopy is interaction of light with matter. Using this technique, we can analyze unknown structures or formulas of molecule in a sample. So, let us see what is spectroscopy. Isaac Newton during his time studied the properties of prism and its ability to separate white light into the visible spectrum. Newton also prepared lenses to use telescopes. He observed that the light of celestial objects contain much information hidden in its detailed color structure. Hot glowing bodies like light bulb or the sun glow. All these colors together appear as white light. When these white light passes through a prism or a raindrop or a diffraction grating, colors get separated according to their wavelengths. Similarly, rainbow is formed in the sky when the sunlight hits the raindrop. In laboratory, we can separate the light from some sources into constituent colors and observe the chemical constitution of gases. Results of these experiments can be compared later with the unknown materials result. Red with its wavelength of 600 nanometer to 700 nanometer ends up on one edge of the spectrum and is deflected the least. Blue wavelength is around 400 nanometer and is present at another end of the visible spectrum. Between these two edges, an infinite number of elementary colors are located, each corresponding to its own wavelength. The same procedure is used for starlight telling us what its source is composed of. Almost all that knowledge about planets, stars and galaxies is achieved from studies of the light received from them. When we are looking at a matter, we are not actually looking at the matter, but we are observing the interaction lights with molecule. The study of interaction between light and matter is called as spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is defined as the study of properties of matter through its interaction with various frequency components of electromagnetic spectrum or Spectroscopy is a set of methods where interaction of electromagnetic radiation with chemical molecule is measured to obtain its properties, characteristics and quantity. Few terms are given below related to spectroscopy like wavelength, wave number, frequency, velocity, photon, units used for wavelength. Angstrom is the unit that is used for wavelength. Amps Angstrom is equal to 10 raised to minus 10 meters. Interaction of light with matter causes the light to change its direction. Light energy is associated with wavelength. Long wavelength is associated with low energy and short wavelength is associated with high energy. In spectroscopy, different light frequency gives a different picture from particular molecule. It is called as spectrum. Such spectra are due to the absorbance of electromagnetic radiation energy by a sample. A sample is a plot of measure of the absorption of electromagnetic radiation by a sample versus the wavelength or energy of the electromagnetic radiation. For example, it is general practice to plot the observed absorbance versus wavelength for spectra in the ultraviolet and visible spectral regions which is also shown in the figure. A spectrum is a plot of measure of absorbance of electromagnetic radiation by a sample versus the wavelength or energy of the electromagnetic radiation. For example, it is general practice to plot the absorbance versus 
wavelength for spectra in the ultraviolet and visible spectral regions. It is also shown in the figure. Ultraviolet, visible and infrared spectroscopy is the most commonly used spectroscopic techniques today. Visible region is from 350 to 700 nanometers of spectrum whereas ultraviolet radiation is commonly defined as the wavelengths from 200 to 350 nanometers. Technically, the infrared region starts immediately after the visible region at 700 nanometers. From 700 to 2500 nanometer is the near infrared. As infrared radiation have low energies, they are not sufficient to cause electron transitions, but they are sufficient to cause vibrational changes within the molecules. Therefore, infrared spectroscopy is called as vibrational spectroscopy. General type of spectrums. There are two distinctive classes of spectrum continuous spectrum and discrete spectrum. Continuous spectrum. The light is composed of a wide continuous range of colors that is energies. Continuous spectra arises when dense gases or solid objects radiate away its heat through the production of light. In such cases, objects emit light over a broad range of wavelengths which resulting in the appearance of continuous spectrum. Stars emit light in predominantly continuous spectrum. Electric cooking stove burners, flames, cooling fire embers and our bodies are the other examples. Our body emits the continuous spectrum but the light waves emitted by body lie at infrared wavelengths. As we don't have infrared sensitive eyes, we cannot see people by the continuous radiation they emit. Discrete spectrum. In discrete spectrum, we can observe only brighter or dark lines of very distinct and sharply defined colors or energies. There are two types of discrete spectra. Emission spectra that is bright light and absorption spectra that is dark light. Discrete spectrum with bright lines are termed as emission spectrum and those with dark lines are termed as absorption spectrum. Emission line spectra. Each element on the periodic table has its own set of possible energy level. These levels are distinct and identifiable. Unlike continuous spectrum source, the electron clouds surrounding the nuclei of an atom have very specific energies detected by quantum mechanics. An atom will always tend to settle to a ground state that is lowest energy level by releasing some energy. An atom releases that energy by emitting a wave of light with the exact energy it needs to release for reaching its ground state. In the diagram below, a hydrogen atom drops from the second energy level to the first energy level, giving out a wave of light with an energy equal to the difference of energy between level 2 and level 1. Such energy corresponds to specific wavelength of light or specified colors. Thus, we can see bright light at the exact wavelength. An excited hydrogen atom relaxes from level 2 to level 1, yielding a photon. This results in a bright emission line. This minute changes of energy in an atom generate photons having low energies and low wavelength, for example, radio waves. Similarly, Large changes of energy in an atom will emit high energy short wavelength photons, for example, UV, X ray, gamma rays, etc. Emission spectrum can provide the spectrum of each atom. Absorption line spectra. If we fire photon back into the ground state atom, 
the atom can absorb these special energetic photons and would become excited. It will jump from ground state to a higher energy level. In this way, a dark line absorption spectrum is born as shown in the figure. For example, when a hydrogen atom in a ground state is excited by a photon of exactly the right energy needed to send it to level 2, it will absorb the photon in the process resulting in a dark absorption line. Such absorption spectrum is used in deducing the presence of elements in stars and other gaseous objects which cannot be measured directly. By comparing the absorption spectrum with elements emission spectrum, people can build the spectrum of planets. A spectrophotometer is an instrument employed to measure the amount of light absorbed by a sample or a solution. Important components of spectrophotometer. Spectroscopy instrument that is spectrophotometer has following components. Radiation source. It is most common and are broad spectrum sources. For example, tungsten lamp, medium pressure mercury, mercury arc, xenon arc, etc. Particular wavelengths are isolated by means of filters or monochromators. Less common sources are those who emit only one or few wavelengths. For example, low pressure mercury arc, hollow cathode lamp that is atomic spectroscopy only. Laser, some are tunable over narrow wavelength range. Second, wavelength selector which is also called as filter or monochromator. Filters are commonly used in cheap instrumentation in photometers, for example, HPLC detectors. Monochromators are always present in spectrophotometers. Prism, it is rarely used nowadays. Grating, detectors of light intensity. Detector should be sensitive to radiation of desired wavelength. Detector for each region of the spectrum differs because of the unique property of either the radiation itself or the source of electromagnetic radiation. Light sources produce plentiful amount of photons in the visible region and the photon energy is sufficient so that the simple phototube or phototransistor will generate enough electron flow to measure. The ultraviolet region of the spectrum, the available light source produce relatively few photons when compared to the visible light source. Therefore, measurement of ultraviolet photons uses a special arrangement of phototube called as photomultiplier to obtain the measurable electrical current. It is not difficult to generate sufficient photons in the infrared region, but the photons are produced are such repeat, but the photons produced are of such low energy that devices as to rapidly measure infrared radiation have just been recently developed. Phototube, it is used for photoionization of cathode provided that the radiation has sufficient energy. Emitted electrons migrate to the anode and current is measured. Each type has its own long cutoff depending on the ionization energy of the cathode. Photomultiplier tube, diode array detector, photovoltaic detector, next is amplifier. Spectroscopy can be divided into two types based on the analysis. Quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis refers to the determination of how much of a given component is present in a sample. The quantity may be expressed in terms of mass, concentration or relative abundance of one or all the components of the sample. Ultraviolet spectroscopy. 
all the atoms absorbed in the ultraviolet region because these photons are energetic enough to excite outer electrons. If the frequency is high enough, photoionization takes place. UV spectroscopy is also used in quantifying proteins and DNA concentration as well as the ratio of protein to DNA concentration in a solution. Several amino acids usually found in protein such as tryptophan absorb light in 280 nanometer range and DNA absorb light in the 260 nanometer range due to which the ratio of 260s to 280 nanometer absorbance is considered as a good indicator of relative purity of a solution in terms of these two macromolecules. Reasonable estimates of proteins or DNA concentration can be made with the help of Beer's law. Visible spectroscopy Many atoms emit or absorb visible light. In order to obtain the fine line spectrum, the atoms must be in a gas phase. This means that the substance has to be vaporized. Spectrum is studied in absorption or emission. Visible absorption spectroscopy is often combined with UV absorption spectroscopy in UV vis spectroscopy. Although these form may be uncommon as the human eye is similar indicator, it still proves useful when distinguishing colors. UV visible spectroscopy. UV visible spectroscopy is used primarily to measure the liquid or solutions. This mode is simpler and allows more accurate quantitative analysis. 95% of all the quantitative analysis in the healthcare field is done by UV visible spectroscopy. This technique is widely used in organic and inorganic analysis. The data acquisition is easy and accurate. The ground state or ground electron state is referred to the lowest energy conformation of atom or molecule. An excited state refers to electron configuration other than the ground state. In absorption spectroscopy, a valence electron is promoted to higher energy atomic or molecular orbit. The amount of energy absorbed from an incident beam is monitored. In emission spectroscopy, a pre-existed valence electron drop into the lower energy atom or molecular orbit. The intensity of emitted light is monitored. Virtually, all the atoms and molecules exist in their ground state, electronic state, at room temperature. Therefore, absorbance, absorbance spectroscopy almost always involves transition from ground state to an excited state to the ground state. Qualitative analysis. In this, the nature of chemical species in the sample is determined. Qualitative analysis can tell us whether the particular atom or ion or compound is present or absent in the sample, but it does not provide information about its quantity of that species. Methods Infrared spectroscopy Infrared spectroscopy is based on the absorption of infrared light. Absorption excites molecule vibration and rotation which have frequencies within the infrared range. Infrared spectroscopy that is IR spectroscopy or vibrational spectroscopy deals with the infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum. IR is the light with longer wavelength and lower frequency than visible light. This technique is mostly based on the absorption spectroscopy. Beer Lambert's law relates the absorption of IR light to the properties of material through which the light is traveling. Infrared spectrometer or spectrophotometer. It is used to produce an infrared spectrum. It is used to indicate the ionic characters in an molecule. 
यूनिट ऑफ आई आर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इक्वल टू रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ सेंटीमीटर्स यूनिट्स ऑफ आई आर वेवलेंथ इज इक्वल टू माइक्रोमीटर्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट अ कॉमन लैबोरेटरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूजिंग दिस टेक्निक इज फॉरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म इंफ्रा रेड स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर फॉरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म इंफ्रा रेड स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर इज अ मेजरमेंट टेक्निक फॉर रेकॉर्डिंग इंफ्रा रेड स्पेक्ट्रा वी कैन सी वर्किंग ऑफ आई आर स्पेक्ट्रोफोटोमीटर फ्रॉम फिगर एडवांसेस इन आई आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एफ टी आई आर माइक्रोस्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज आई आर स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर इन कॉम्बिनेशन विथ माइक्रोस्कोप फैसिलिटी इट फैसिलिटेट्स स्टडी ऑफ वेरी माइन्यूट सैम्पल्स सच एज फाइव टू टेन म्यू एम एफ टी आई आर माइक्रोस्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज यूजफुल इन ऑप्टेनिंग टू डी और थ्री डी केमिकल इमेजेस ऑफ अ सैम्पल एट अ टाइम थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इंटरफेरोग्राम्स कैन बी कलेक्टेड एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू इंफ्रा रेड स्पेक्ट्रा इट कैन वर्क इन ट्रांसमिशन एंड रिफ्लेक्शन मोड्स डेटा प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक फॉरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म कन्वर्ट्स दिस ड्रॉ डेटा इन टू सैम्पल्स स्पेक्ट्रम द सैम्पल स्पेक्ट्रम इज ऑलवेज कंपेर्ड विथ अ रेफरेंस अ डेटा प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक Fourier transform converts this raw data into the sample spectrum. The sample spectrum is always compared with a reference. Two interferograms are produced. One with the sample in the light beam, two without the sample in the light beam, which is called as a reference. The final transmission spectrum is obtained by dividing the sample spectrum by the reference spectrum. a basic ir spectrum is essentially a graph of infrared light absorbed on the vertical axis versus frequency or wavelength on the horizontal axis the mid infrared spectrum that is 4000 to 400 cm per cm can be approximately divided into four regions x h stretching region triple bond region double bond region and fingerprint region infrared spectroscopy measures different type of inner atomic bond vibrations at different frequencies with the help of ir absorption spectra type of bonds are present in the organic sample can be determined it can analyze polymers constituents like fillers pigments and plasticizers near infrared spectroscopy or nir spectroscopy near infrared range has much greater penetration of nir radiation into the sample than ir spectroscopy range currently employed for practical applications such as imaging of intact organisms medical diagnosis pharmaceuticals medicines proteomic analysis biotechnology food analysis genomic analysis interatomic research and chemical imaging plastics textiles insect detection forensic lab applications crime detection various military applications and so on raman spectroscopy in raman spectroscopy the sample is irradiated by intense laser beam of uv visible region which results in scattering of light in raman spectroscopy the vibrational frequency that is vm is measured as a shift from incident beam frequency such scattering of light consists of relay scattering this relay scattering is strong its frequency is same as incident light and relay is filtered out from the signal and second is raman scattering this raman scattering is very weak it has frequencies of v0 plus and minus vm v0 minus vm is called as stokes line whereas v0 plus vm is called as anti stokes line significance of raman spectroscopy easy identification of chemical structure indicating covalent characters in an molecule 
it is flexible simple sensitive and fast technique no sample preparation is required it is non invasive non destructive method scattering in general is dependent on the frequency of excited radiations to the fourth power stokes and anti stokes scatterings are related to the population in the ground state and the first excited vibrational level it is applicable for analysis of wide range of material solids or liquids it is applicable in pharmaceuticals biomedicals material sciences nanotechnology forensic or anti crime or anti terrorism field gemology mineralogy archaeology art heritage etc scattering in general is dependent on the frequency of excited radiation on the fourth power strokes and anti stroke scatterings are related to population in the ground state and the first excited vibrational level relay scattering is about 10 raised to 5 times stronger than raman scattering nmr nmr is a powerful tool to determine organic structure nuclei of atoms have magnetic properties this phenomenon can be used to reveal the chemical information subatomic particles like photons neutrons and electrons have spin the spinning charge nucleus generates a magnetic field to determine the spin of given molecule or the to determine the spin of a given nucleus one can use following rules if the number of neutrons and the number of proton protons are both even the nucleus has no spin if number of neutrons plus the number of protons is odd then nucleus has half integer spin that is 1 by 2 or 3 by 2 or 5 by 2 if the number of neutrons and the number of protons both are odd then the nuclei has an integer spin that is 1 2 or 3 when such nucleus is placed in an external field spinning protons act like bar magnets a proton with the right amount of energy can be absorbed and caused the spinning proton to flip if all the protons absorb the same amount of energy in a given magnetic field information could be obtained but protons are surrounded with electrons which shield them from an external field circulating electrons create an induced magnetic field that opposes the external magnetic field if we irradiate the sample with radio waves that is the mhz frequency ratio the protons will absorb the energy and uh, be promoted to the less favorable higher energy state this energy absorption is called as resonance because the frequency of applied radiation and the precision coincide or resonate the only method for atomic resolution structure determination of bio macro molecule is aqueous solution under physiological condition or membrane mimetic environments molecular dynamics this is the most powerful technique for quantifying properties of bio micro molecules protein folding in protein folding this is the most powerful tool for determining the residual structures of unfolded proteins and the structures of folding intermediates ionization state the mo- it is the most powerful tool for determining the chemical properties of functional groups in bio micro molecules such as ionization state of ionizable groups at the active sites of enzymes weak intermolecular interactions it this technique is allowing weak functional interactions between macromolecules for example those with dissociation constant in the micromolar to millimolar range to be studied which is not possible with other technologies 
protein hydration in protein hydration this is the most powerful technique for detection of interior water and its interaction with bio macromolecule in hydrogen bonding it is a unique technique for direct detection of hydrogen bonding interactions hydrogen bonding this is a unique technique for the direct detection of hydrogen bonding interactions drug screening and designing particularly useful for identifying drug leads and determining the conformations of the compounds bound to enzymes receptors and other proteins in native membrane proteins solid state nmr has a potential for determining atomic resolution structure of domains of membrane proteins in their native membrane environment including those with bound ligands metabolic analysis it's a very powerful technique technology for metabolic analysis in chemical analysis a um, mature technique repeat chemical analysis it's a mature technique for chemical identification and conformational analysis of chemicals whether synthetic or natural material science it is a powerful technique or tool in research of polymer chemistry and physics mass spectroscopy applications mass spectroscopy can be used for quantitative and qualitative analysis it is used to identify unknown compounds from various samples it is used to determine isotopic composition of elements in a molecule it also it is also used to determine the structures of compounds it is used to identify and quantify the amount of compound in a sample it is also used to study chemistry of ions and neutrals in a vacuum it is also used to study physical chemical and biological properties of great variety of compounds uses of spectroscopy spectroscopy is generally used to understand how light interaction is occurring with the matter for quantitative estimation of various compounds in an unknown or known sample this this type of spectroscopy is used generalization for the range of 200 to 800 nanometer absorption by various groups of compounds simple alkanes like monoalkanes alcohols ethers amines halides etc absorb very poorly in fact they are good solvents for uv visible spectrometry polyunsaturated compounds such as dienes trienes unsaturated ketones and aromatic aromatics absorb strongly whereas simple carbonyl compounds such as aldehydes ketones absorb very weakly transition metal metal ions absorb weakly in the visible range then metal complexes often absorb strongly in the uv range photometers can operate at one or more fixed wavelengths and are used exclusively for quantitative analysis for example in hplc detector spectrophotometers are capable of scanning through wavelength to record the spectrum they are more versatile as a it can obtain qualitative and quantitative information and b as it can quantify any desired wavelength okay it is also used to monitor the changes in the energy states of a molecule after this introduction of spectroscopy various advances and techniques their limitations and uh, uses we can definitely say that this is very useful techniques in various fields which include biochemical sciences drug discovery molecular biology etc so this technique is useful for uh, from archaeology to modern nanotechnology so according to our requirements and objective we can decide which of these technique we can use for our experiments thank you